Hey, welcome to Today Matters, our daily devotional in the Word of God. And my name is Zach. I'm the high school pastor here at Skyline. And all you parents out there who might be watching, do you ever find yourself giving the same wisdom or the same advice or the same commands to your kids just over and over and over again? Yeah, of course. Of course, there's things probably that you find yourself repeating and, and saying, do your chores or maybe do your schoolwork or stop arguing with your sibling. And this week, I was spending some time with my older sister and I was thinking about all of the things that our parents had to say to us just over and over and over again. You know, my sister and I would get into debates all the time and now she's a lawyer, so I think it was probably helpful back then. But we'd get into these debates about just the silliest things and things that just ultimately didn't matter. You know, we'd fight about what we wanted to eat for dinner that night or who, why we thought we deserved the front seat in the car that day or who should have the bigger room or who was the favorite, you know, with our parents. And we get into these arguments and the advice that we got from our parents or that I heard the most for sure was these three words and it was let it go. Let it go. And I couldn't stand getting that advice or that command when I was younger about letting it go because I wanted to win the argument. I wanted to beat my sister in the arguments that she had presented to me and I wanted to win. And that was the advice I got a lot was let it go. And today what we're going to focus on is what is some of the stuff maybe that you need to let go that is hindering the, the life that God wants you to live and is holding you back from some of the, the good works and the profitable stuff that God wants to, to do in your life to advance the kingdom of God. And this is a conversation that Paul, the Apostle Paul, was having with his spiritual sons or his spiritual kids as he writes to them um, in Titus and in Timothy. And he says that there's some stuff that they need to let go of as well. And this word that we're going to focus on today, it's this word perstami. And what perstami means, the way that it's translated in our New Testament is avoid. That's, what it's, that's how it's translated in Titus and in Timothy. It's avoid. But what it actually means is to put aside or to turn away from or to, in our context, let it go. That's what it ultimately means. So we're going to read this passage of Scripture together today. And this is Titus chapter 3, verse 3. At one time we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness of and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And this is something that in our New Testament, a large portion of it is written by the Apostle Paul. He constantly finds himself doing this in his writings about just reminding us and reminding people about the gospel, just always returning it to the gospel of Jesus. And this, that's what he does with Titus is he, he brings it back to the gospel and says, all of us in the past, maybe we struggled with this or we were enslaved by our passions or our pleasure or this stuff of the flesh. But he says, as we accepted Jesus, God graciously poured out his Holy Spirit on us, who is alive and active in changing us and renewing us and, and changing who we used to be. And last week, Pastor Jeremy actually shared about the ministry of the Holy Spirit in one of our Today Matters. He said the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is to point us towards Jesus. That's the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit. And as he does that, he is changing our desires and who we are. And some of the stuff we naturally let go of when we start to follow Jesus because the Holy Spirit is changing us. And Paul writes that. He says, this is the gospel, right? He said that there's stuff that was foolish or things that I was disobedient is, or I was deceived in. And there was passions and pleasures that had control over me that now as I'm following Jesus, I'm naturally starting to change and let go of. But then there's also stuff that is maybe not just inherently sinful, it's not just stuff that all of us have to let go of, but there's stuff that you, and he says this to Titus, but you specifically need to let go of as well. And this is what he goes on to say after explaining the gospel and how we are changed and how we are being changed. He says, but avoid or perstay me, put aside, turn away from, let go of these foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. And in his time, and in the context of where he's writing, some of these Jewish rabbis were getting into these debates about um, genealogies of prophets or talking about these, these theological concepts with the law and, and these quarrels of the law. And the way that Paul writes it to Titus is he says, these are, avoid these things, put them away, turn away from them because they're unprofitable and useless. He actually says the same thing to Timothy where he says, avoid all this godless chatter because it's, it's taken away from the, the godly life that God wants you to live. And so how do we actually do that? What does that actually mean for you? And what is, what is the, how does that actually apply to your life? This is what he says in verse 8. And this is what Paul writes to, to Titus. He says, this is a trustworthy saying 
And I want you to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God, this is you and, and me, may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. And some translations say to doing good works. And these things are excellent and profitable for everyone. So as we ask this, this, this question about what we need to let go of, I, this is the lens that we're supposed to look through is what are the things that are holding us back from actually living a productive life for Jesus? And in some commentaries on this section I was reading, they actually suggest what he's, what he's basically saying is some of you are debating stuff and are getting caught in these arguments that aren't actually productive to how you treat your family at home or how you treat people at work or how you actually walk this walk out, this, this walk out this faith for Jesus. They're not actually productive to that. And that is his focus in this section is what actually is transforming and changing your life? How are you actually using your faith? And maybe today, this word perstami or the things that you need to let go of, maybe it's an argument on social media that you can't seem to get out of. It's just continuing to circle. Or maybe it is um, a comment that somebody made to you that you just can't let go of. Or maybe it's somebody that you just can't forgive. And it's stuff that is just not profitable to advancing the kingdom. And what he actually tells us to focus on is, is focus on um, and devote yourself to doing what is good. And these things are excellent and profitable for everybody. These things are profitable for everybody. And maybe that's a question you need to ask yourself is what is, what is actually in my way that is, is taking away my time, my energy from actually using my faith to help other people or to actually you utilize the, the transformed life that I have in Jesus? Because there's all stuff, for, for Titus it was these foolish controversies or genealogies or, or godless chatters, another way that he says it, that was taken away from him living a, a holy and godly life for Jesus. And maybe it's different for you. I don't know what it is, but the question for today is, is what do you need to prestay me and let go of so that you can actually live a productive life and really ultimately make today matter?